Hello friends, welcome back to Infigia. Today in this video, we are going to solve another very very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to find common roots of these two equations. So let's get started by considering this is our equation number 1 and here we can write equation number 2. Now I will use method of factorization. I will factorize both the quartic expressions written in left hand side. And then we will see which root or factor is common. So let us factorize our equations. I will begin with our first equation. So I will write x power 4 plus x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1. Now I can see here if I will write in equation form. So x cannot be equal to 0 as it is not satisfying our equation. So I can divide our equation by x square both sides. So I can write x square plus x minus 4 minus 1 over x plus 1 over x square equal to 0. Or we can club x square with 1 over x square, x with minus 1 over x and then minus 4 equal to 0. Now we can use substitution x minus 1 over x. Suppose this is equal to u. So I will square both sides and write x square plus 1 over x square minus 2 equal to u square or the value of x square plus 1 over x square in terms of u, we can write u square plus 2. So here we are going to put u and here we will be writing u square plus 2. So our equation in u will be u square plus 2 plus u minus 4 equal to 0 or we can write u square plus u minus 2 equal to 0. Remember u is x minus 1 over x. Let us solve this quadratic equation or better is to say let us factorize this quadratic expression. I will write here u square plus u minus 2 equal to 0. Now we will split our middle term and I can write here u square. u can be written as 2u minus u. Then we have minus 2 equal to 0. From first two terms u is common. We will be writing u plus 2 in the bracket. From last two we will take minus 1 common. So we can write u plus 2 in the bracket equal to 0. Now u plus 2 is overall common. Then in other bracket we can write u minus 1 equal to 0. Now u was x minus 1 over x. Now I will use product 0 rule. So I can write u plus 2 equal to 0 or u minus 1 equal to 0. So in place of u we can write x minus 1 over x plus 2 equal to 0 and here I can write x minus 1 over x minus 1 equal to 0. Now we have to only multiply by x in both the equations. So we will get x square minus 1 plus 2x equal to 0. And here once we will multiply both sides by x, we can get x square minus 1 minus x equal to 0. So our factorization for our first quartic equation is done. I can write LHS would be x square plus 2x 
माइनस वन टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स माइनस वन इक्वल टू आर एच एस जीरो नाउ दिस इज आवर इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाउ वी विल फैक्टराइज इक्वेशन नंबर टू सो आई विल राइट हेयर इक्वेशन नंबर टू लेट मी राइट हेयर इट इज नाउ For equation two, I will use rational root theorem and synthetic division method to factorize. So I will multiply both sides by eight. So let me write here times eight, and this side also I will multiply with it. So I can write sixteen x power four minus eight x cube minus eight times four is thirty two x square plus eight. Equal to eight times zero is zero. Now sixteen is two power four. So can we write two x whole power four? This is sixteen x power four. Similarly, eight x cube. Eight is two cube. So we can write two x whole cube. Then can we write thirty two as eight times four? And we will write eight times two x whole square. Two square is four. 8 times 4 is 32 then we have 8 equal to 0 now let us assume 2x is equal to y so our quartic would be in y y power 4 minus y cube minus 8y square plus 8 equal to 0 now first root or factor is clearly visible once we will plug in y equal to 1 so it will give us 1 power 4 which is 1 1 cube which is also 1 with minus sign minus 8 plus 8 so this is equal to 0 9 minus 9 is 0 we'll say y equal to 1 is one root of this equation quartic equation now we can use synthetic division method so i need to write all the coefficients of quartic equation let me write here sdm with base solution y equal to 1 coefficients of quartic equation if i will write i need to write 1 minus 1 minus 8 0 and 8 we'll put one line over there leading coefficient 1 would be as it is now we will multiply our base solution with leading coefficient 1 1 times 1 is 1 once we will add these two we will write here 0 1 times 0 is 0 addition of these two will give us minus 8 1 times minus 8 is minus 8 addition of these two will give us minus 8 1 times minus 8 is minus 8 once we will add these two we are going to write here Zero. So these coefficients are for cubic equation. Now I can write our cubic equation: y cube minus y square is zero. So we'll write minus eight y minus eight equal to zero. This is one cubic equation. This time I can use rational root theorem. So I need to know the eligible factors of eight. i can write plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 plus minus 8 if i will plug in 1 1 won't satisfy minus 1 won't satisfy let me plug y equal to 2 so 8 minus 16 minus 8 is this true no y equal to minus 2 minus 2 cube is minus 8 Minus eight times minus two plus sixteen minus eight. Yes, this is true. So we will say y equal to minus two is base solution for this cubic equation. So I can write here the coefficients of cubic equation to apply SDM. Let me write here. I will write y equal to minus two. and if i will write coefficients of cubic equation 1 0 -8 -8 leading coefficient 1 would be as it is 
will multiply these two numbers all together. So minus 2 times 1 minus 2. We will write here addition of these two will give us minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 2 becomes 4. Addition of these two will give us minus 4. Minus 2 times minus 4 is 8. If we will add these two we will get 0. So here we have coefficient for quadratic equation in y. Equation would be y square minus 2y minus 4 equal to 0. Let me write in factorization form. So our first root was y equal to 1. First base solution. Second one is y equal to minus 2. So I can write y minus 1 times y plus 2 times y square minus 2y minus 4 equal to 0. But this is in terms of y. We have to write in terms of x. So I will put back our substitution 2x equal to y. So I can write 2x minus 1 then 2x plus 2 then here I will write 2x whole square is 4x square minus 2 times 2x minus 4x minus 4 equal to 0 because 2x is equal to y. Let me write here. Now 2 is common from this bracket, 4 is common from this bracket or divide both sides by 8, we will get 2x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. So this is the factorization of equation number 1 or equation number 2. Let me write both the equations in terms of its factorization. Here it is. This is our equation 1. This is our equation 2. Now we can multiply these two brackets also to compare directly. So we will write 2x square plus x minus 1. So times x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0. This is second equation and here we have equation 1. So common factor is x square minus x minus 1. We will find factors which is common from this expression itself x square minus x minus 1 by putting equal to 0. Now we will apply quadratic formula x will be equal to minus p plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. As per our equation we can write a is 1, b is negative 1, c is also negative 1. Let's apply all the values. Minus b will write 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square is plus 1. Minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 will give us plus 4 over 2 times 1 is 2. So I can write 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2. We are getting golden ratio 1 plus root 5 over 2. So our common roots are 1 plus minus root 5 over 2. Now we can find out the otherwise factors also. So for equation number 1 we have to solve x square plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. And for equation number 2, we have to solve 2x square plus x minus 1. Let's solve here. So for equation 1, I will write x square plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Let's use completing the square method. So I will write x square plus 2x and minus 1 I will write in the RHS. Now we will add 1 to both sides so that LHS will give us one complete square of x plus 1. I will write x plus 1 whole square equal to 2. We will take square root both sides. x plus 1 will be equal to plus minus root 2. Now we have to subtract 1 to both the sides. We will get 
टू रूट माइनस वन प्लस स्क्वायर रूट टू एंड माइनस वन माइनस स्क्वायर रूट टू सो दीज आर द अदर टू रूट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द कॉमन रूट फॉर इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाउ द टर्न ऑफ इक्वेशन नंबर टू सो वी कैन राइट हेयर टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो इन फैक्टराइजेशन फॉर्म विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी टू एक्स माइनस वन टाइम्स एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ विल अप्लाई प्रोडक्ट जीरो रूल एंड वी कैन राइट इजिली एक्स विल बी हाफ एक्स विल बी नेगेटिव वन सो वन प्लस माइनस रूट फाइव ओवर टू विल बी द कॉमन रूट एंड फॉर इक्वेशन वन माइनस वन प्लस माइनस रूट टू एंड फॉर इक्वेशन टू वन ओवर टू एंड माइनस वन आर द अदरवाइज रूट आई होप फ्रेंड्स यू विल लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग डू नॉट फॉर गेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब बाय टिल नेक्स्ट वीडियो गुड लक टेक केयर बाय